Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fur video. We're going to have a look at the risk of some snow coming up in uh, the next couple of days, through Wednesday and particularly through Thursday. So you can do a little bit of mini snow watch. And um, then we'll have a look at 12Z and we'll see what 12Z is forecasting uh, in terms of GFS, uh, the GM and the ECM, um, you know, going out to like the week to uh, 10 day to in terms of GFS, anyway, a two week time frame. In terms of car weather that may be setting in uh, with Arctic Norvalis next week. And I shall get on with that for you uh, very shortly. Just say it's been a busy day at Galsworthy today. We have the ECM 30-day uh, look ahead and also a 10 to 14-day uh, update as well. Check out both of those videos if you would like to do that. Please like, share and subscribe and uh, drop a comment and let us know what you think about all of the latest developments. Right, so let's do the snow watch, uh, snow watch start uh, or part of this uh, video uh, first of all, um, so uh, this is the fact chart from the uh, UK Met Office for midday tomorrow. This is the human interpretation of miles by forecasters at the UK Met. So um, we've got a warm front coming in uh, into the country tomorrow, associated with an area of low pressure to the northwest of uh, Scotland. That's trying to introduce milder air from off the Atlantic, but of course we have got a wedge of cold air sitting to our north and east with all of this high pressure over Scandinavia and, uh, and the low pressure like over Denmark. So all sort of cold air associated with that and this cold air is trying to advance into uh into the uk so a battle is going on between these two air masses and as we go through to midnight on thursday we find that we're developing a triple point along uh, the warm front so we've got a triple point low developing uh which means we've got a warm front a cold front and a occluded front um on the triple point you can get quite a lot of uh, heavy rain and on the northern and eastern side of these triple points in these situations you can sometimes get snow now that triple point actually forms an area of low pressure as we go through to midday on Thursday. So there'll be heavy precipitation running along this triple point low and to the north and east of the occluded front and uh, north and east of triple point, um, there, there could be some quite significant uh, rain and potentially a little bit of snow uh, in places uh, as well. So let's have a look at the snow risk for this then. We're going to go to Weather Outlook and have a look at the uh, raw GF out, uh, GFS output, first of all. So you can see that tomorrow morning we've got rain setting in uh, across many parts of the country, turns to snow across Scotland and northeast and England through the morning before probably going back to uh, rain. Um, then into Thursday, we have outbreaks of heavy and persistent rain uh, across many parts of the country through the morning. That's where the triple point low is running through the country. Now, does the GFS turn any of that to snow let's have a look yes it does so it produces quite uh quite significant snow there by the look of it through northern england down into the north and northeast midlands and through lincolnshire and into east anglia that is probably enough to bring a covering of snow through those areas during the course of thursday afternoon rain in the southeast and then the low uh clears away so the gfs does see a little bit of snow then from that let's have a look at the high resolution arpege model see what what that one is uh, predicting. So uh, again, we have the uh, rain turning to snow across parts of Scotland and Northern tomorrow afternoon, probably more than the GFS is suggesting actually. That's quite a significant snow event through Scotland and Northern, but it's primarily, I would have fought over high ground. Um, wet across much of the southeast. Let's see what happens as we get through into Thursday then. So quite a lot of snow potentially here across Northern England and Southern Scotland in particular. Um, and then the, it looks like the Arpege wants to turn that more towards snow in towards the Midlands, perhaps. So we may get a little bit more snow uh, coming into the Midlands during the course of Thursday afternoon. So, yeah, we've got a snow event here taking place from Northern down into Midlands. More widespread than the GFS has it, which is unusual for Arpege. Normally Arpege struggles with snow, but this is a little bit more widespread than the GFS has it through the Midlands into parts of southeastern uh, England, and, and then the rain sort of slips away to the south as we go into Thursday evening and the early hours of Friday, and it turns drier uh, then. And then we do it all over again as we get through into Saturday with another system coming in from the Atlantic. I'm going to suggest you have a little bit of snow with that potentially across parts of northern England. This is the high resolution icon model. Let's see what this one uh, does. So, uh, producing snow across Scotland and the northeast of England. 
less widespread when our page has it during the course of first uh, during the course of Wednesday evening and into Thursday morning. But then turning quite heavy with the snow. Look at this, quite heavy with the snow across Scotland, Northern England into Thursday uh, evening, and then that slips south was into the Midlands uh, and parts of East Anglia, Lincolnshire during Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening before clearing away overnight into Friday. And the next system comes in that's just primarily rain. So it doesn't look like some, you know, there could be snow around with this unexpectedly, unexpected snow. Uh, Wednesday in the north and the northeast, and then more widely, perhaps through central and eastern parts of the country on um, Thursday. This is WRF. Uh, so again, we see. That there is going to be a precipitation around this uh this year four i should say um precipitation around through wednesday and thursday and uh not as much snow risk with that just just quite limited over the highest ground of the pennines and uh, southern scotland and then finally uh for the snow watch section uh we have um wrf so uh, again just have a very quick look at that with outbreaks of rain across northern central northern parts of the country and uh and then that uh, through the course of Wednesday to Thursday. Um, maybe some wintry weather coming from Northern down in towards the Midlands and East Anglia during Thursday afternoon. It's really as our pair should is going to town with this one, though, which is quite unusual. Uh, our pair doesn't tend to, uh, you know, it doesn't tend to uh, go that over top with snow. Uh, right, let's have a look at 12Z uh, then. So this is how the uh, GFS 12Z uh, is looking uh, in terms of next week's weather. So uh, still going to be this idea that we push low pressure through during the early part of uh, next week as we raise heights over Greenland. So this low pressure, as it pushes eastwards, combined with Greenland high, will turn the wind into the north, becomes colder through next week. Of course, detail is to be determined in terms of snow risks and, and all of that. Devil's in the detail with that, but GFS 12Z still maintain the trend of turning things colder from the north next week. Then low pressure trying to come up from the south, engaging with that cold air, turning to snow on uh, the leading edge. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so so these uh, low pressure on a subly track. Looks like, the, I mean, the details change a little bit compared to the midday, the midnight and uh, the 6Z, but more or less, uh, more or less keeping the trend uh, for turning things a lot colder and potentially more wintry anyway through the course of next week. This is how the uh, GM 12Z is looking. Is this going to uh, bring down the northern winds? Let's have a look. So the low pressure pushes through the country through the early part of next week. Yeah, raising high. So Greenland, winds turning into the north, that's uh, bringing down uh, a northerly plunge as well. Low pressure then starts to move up from the south, engages with that northerly, could produce like a real dumping of snow. That might actually be like a blizzard actually going on <laughs> with the GEM running up towards day 10. That low looks very significant with gale force winds uh, from the east wrapped around it. And as the low comes into cold air, that would produce quite a lot of snow. Let's have a look at the ECM uh, as well. Well, and then we will wrap up this video. If you enjoyed this mini snow watch combined with a look at the 12Z, then please give us a like on the video and let YouTube know that you've enjoyed it. Um, this is the ECM WF 12Z finally. So um, going to next week, yeah, low pressure is pushing through the country. Heights rising towards Greenland, Iceland. Winds turning into the north. The trend is maintained. The detail is subtly different from each of these models, but the trend to something a lot consistently colder next week and potentially wintry or very wintry is maintained i'll just show you the icon uh shall, shall i that goes up to 168 hours but also that's going to go in the same direction where it's a little bit later pushing uh the novel is through that's up to tuesday midday tuesday a little bit later pushing the novel is through but essentially it's the same idea low pressure to the north scott is digging in the northerly wind got this low pressure just here on a southerly trap but will engage with the cold air probably produce storm and northern edge and the main point is that heights are rising um around greenland so it's all still on course it's not really been a great deal of change like the detail is changed slightly but essentially we're looking at uh, an increasingly cold weather next week these models are right and potentially an increasingly wintry outlook but as we've established there could even be some wintry weather through the next couple of days through wednesday and thursday we could get some snow uh, across uh, 
uh, tomorrow and um, tomorrow night for sort of northern northeastern areas and then coming down further south was into parts of the midlands east anglia lincolnshire for example during the course of thursday and a covering of snow in these places even to low levels is not out of the question by any means. Right, that's it then. Uh, so that's it for your videos for today. Tomorrow, we're going to have a USA forecast. And we're going to be live streaming. I think it'll be a big live stream tomorrow. 10 to 14 day live stream. We'll be talking about snow and uh, and cold weather. So I imagine it'll be quite a biggish live stream that we have on our hands tomorrow from 6 o'clock. And so I shall see you uh, then live, hopefully. But uh, for this video, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.